Hi friends. I was in New Orleans last week for a work thing. It was my first time there and I was surprised to see how much it looked like. Like, you know the fake New Orleans in Disneyland? Well, that's what the real New Orleans looked like too, at least around the convention center. Like a fake place. Or like the regular world, but with the saturation turned up. And for most of my time there, that palm tree laden theme park is all I really saw on my way into and out of the convention center. But on my last day, we wrapped up early, so I had about an hour to kill before I had to head to the airport, and I wanted to see something a little more authentic feeling. So inspired by my goth phase and the Ask a Mortician YouTube channel, I decided to see some cool architecture and confront my own mortality. I walked about a mile out of the way of the sea of khaki shorts to go to the cemetery. No, not the famous one with a voodoo queen's grave and Nicolas Cage's giant death pyramid. That's St. Louis Cemetery number one. I went to St. Louis Cemetery number two, the off-brand one that doesn't require a tour guide to get in. In New Orleans, bodies are buried above ground, what with the whole place being below sea level and all, which gives us these beautiful little cities of graves. A family will make itself a tiny tower of ancestors stacked one on top of another. Bury your dead in this way and you start to change the landscape. In death, you get to defy Earth. I'm looking at you, Nick Cage. We all know what that pyramid's a symbol for. But then on the other hand, here's the thing that happens when you die. People might come and take care of you for a while, for as long as they live or live in that place. And eventually, they also die. And maybe their kids are still around to look after your eternal resting place. But then, in a couple of generations, everybody who knew you, or knew of you, dies too. And there's no one really left to do that anymore. I don't mean that to sound dark, that's just how time works. Combine that with the devastating hurricane that hits, and in time your several story monument crumbles, and weeds start poking back through. You become the earth anyway. One of my favorite monuments in the cemetery, maybe a holdover from when the Spanish controlled the Mississippi Delta, was a grave that read, En la huesa terminan las vicisitudes humanas. All human fluctuations, changes, alterations, end in bone. Oof, right? I'm just gonna let that one sit with you for a second. Next to it was an older monument, or it seemed older. Its marker had worn off or fallen off, and the bricks on top had started to crumble into a little pile of rubble. But it was topped with a pair of 2017 issue Nikes, like someone reaching back into the future to say, hey, we're still here. Because yeah, ashes to ashes, and sure, we're all gonna return to dust, and all our human alterations of the world will end in bone, and everything we make will be forgotten to time, but we'll keep making them. If you like this video, please share it with someone who you think would like it too and I'll see you next week. Bye.